What is going on, everybody? This is 2019-20 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. Joe's ripping it on the top camera there. It's a 16-box master case break. And we have a free box given away at the end of the break. Um, you had to buy three or more teams to get entered. So hopefully um, a lot of you guys and gals took advantage of that promo that we're doing for this break right here. So let's head to this screen. You can see Joe on the top camera there. Oh, the few. Yeah. Here's a box for you. Thank you. Did you cut the, the seal? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no. Rookie. Yeah, forget about this, the, the upper deck seal. They do that on every single product. Every single product. Look what you made me do. Oh boy. Oh no, disaster. And I, I don't think we need these in products. We can get rid of that. Just waste of paper. The little flyer. Yeah, why, why does upper deck do that? Like, we know what's coming out. We have the internet. Yeah. What's well, a pre-internet thing that they just kept, kept going? Yeah, it's like, we know. We're looking forward to it. Like, we get it. So this oh. is a full master case. The worst is when they freeze up and they get the... They don't even get an answer yeah. out. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Yeah. I think the air quality index is bad right now. If you're into that type of thing. I don't know the question on this. I don't know the question either. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the answers and guess the questions. Word or phrase beginning with the word mouth. Mouth guard. There you go. Mouth what? Fool? I don't know what that is. Mouth full. Oh, 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 okay. Mouth guard, let's do it. That's the last answer, right? Got it. It's not up there. I didn't I didn't mouth sad? Mouth mouths. S A I D mouth oh, sad. Oh, oh. Even Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey was just like, what'd you say? Mouth say? Said? said? No, it's not. He's <laughs> <laughs> just like, don't. He's like, no, it's not. <laughs> you know who's not doing fast money, apparently. Yeah, no. Her. Alright, here's the first box. None of them guess mouth guard. They never play football? Alright, no veteran base ship, but all of the inserts and stuff do. The limited yeah, yeah, reds do. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Wow. Gold Ink Jack Hughes Auto. Whoa. Authentic Moments I've Jack heard of that Hughes. Guy. Number one pick. Gold Ink. Wow, nice. New Jersey Devils is Jonathan McClay. Mouth to mouth was the, not mouth guard. Mm, we would have been wrong. We would have gotten the X too. Yeah, Arthur. Um, Joe's breaking tomorrow, so. Figured we'd do uh, Nick and Knight a little early tonight. There's the next autograph. It is Julian Gauthier for the Carolina Hurricanes, number to 399, Future Wash Auto. 
I don't know the configuration. It's just two autos per box, I think. Every box contains at least one Future Watch rookie and card signed autograph card on average. So is that two autos or one? I think just one. Well, we got two autos in that first box. Maybe a bonus, a bonus hit. I feel like I feel like most of these. It says on average, but I feel like most of these boxes are above average. Blake Wheeler. Otto Cuevola, Future Watch. Brock Besser. Young Guns, JC Baudin. And we'll have another hockey mixer tomorrow. We'll have uh, some other hockey stuff tomorrow as well. And Monday. Not sure the next hockey release. Stature? Need that. Um, okay, what else? Remember, no veteran commons ship in this one, but all of the inserts and stuff do. Looks like ingrained hockey. That's a cool release. That's on the 30th. That's those, uh, those cards are all, like, made of wood. Those are cool. Really? Yeah. Cool. We did a lot of that. Maybe last year. Maybe Jason did a lot of it. Um, so those are cool. I like those. It's a, uh, easy product to rip, too. I think just one pack. One pack in every box. So we get pretty much every hockey release minus, you know, the MVPs and stuff. So it looks like ingrain is like a five or ten box case. We'll have that. Yeah, five box per case, one pack per box. So we'll have that uh, June thirtieth. So that's in what? Ten days? No, June nine, 30th? nine days. Nine days away. Yeah, that's my half birthday. In case you want to celebrate it, send me gifts. Not a big deal. And then Upper Deck Goodwin Champions is on July 1st. We sometimes get that. I don't think they'll have Zion in this year, so maybe John Morant signed for it. But of course, you know, LeBron and uh, Jordan are always in that. Tiger Woods, Capo Caco will probably be in that. There's 999 Adam Fox Future Watch Auto, 80 of 999. So what else? Upper deck is kind of coming soon. And Grain, Goodwin Champs, we're getting both of those. And of course we'll have personals of, of that. Premier Hockey is next month, that's always a fun one. Ooh, Premier Hockey is nice. I like that, high-end set. Stature. Those are the ones in those tins. Stature Hockey, that's coming out. I've heard of that. In July. Ultimate Collection Hockey, that's a fun one. That's coming out. We got a uh, Redemption. Trent Frederick. Any guesses on that? Where he goes to? Lightning. I say Hurricanes. I say a blue team. <laughs> Looks like someone. It's Googled. Been, it's been Googled already. Uh, Bruins on that one. Maybe there you go. The Chad's B got it too. Eric K's got the Bruins. Twenty ninth overall pick in the two thousand sixteen NHL draft. Just uh, becoming a rookie this past season. Yakov Trenin, Nashville, young guy. There's Spectrum FX Carl Grundstrom, Future Watch. There's a uh, Mario Ferraro to 9.99. Artemi Panarin and Barzil.
good answer. Question, Steve Harvey. Something that's a fortune to fix, but you would love to do it yourself. You love to not do it yourself. Now save a fortune. Nick Kamano stars. Ooh, that's a good answer. Plumbing. Yeah, I was gonna say plumbing too. There you go. Plumbing's got to be number two answer. Someone already said car. Whoa, Sign of the Times, Alex Tuck for the Golden Knights. I like those big uh, big autographs they got there. Wade Preston with the go, Golden Knights. Good answer. Nice answer. Yeah. Makes up for the last bad one. Yeah, the really bad one. Oh, got it. There you nice. go. For the win. Redemption. There's number to 399. Another Vegas Golden Knight. Nicholas Haig. Future Watch Auto. Vegas going out to wait. Nice. We'll do a hit recap at the end. Um, same video, and then we'll do that giveaway as well. There's Alexi Sorella to $9.99. Rasmus Dahlin. Uh, level 2, Nicholas Hay. Those all get sleeved. Packs are kind of hard to open. Yeah, packs are really hard. They're made of something different than normal packs, and then they don't have the little tears that they usually do. In uh, other yeah, no, maybe, maybe they're just Ooh, like... we got something coming up. I think we have a patch auto. Ooh. Whoa, look at that patch. Ooh. Wow, Golden Knights again. 44 out of 50, Jonathan Marchesol. Three color patch, limited auto materials. Vegas Golden Knights, Wade. Nice one. Jonathan Marchesol. My best guess at Right in point. I feel like Upper Deck heard our feedback about Igor Young Guns. About the pack being too thin and just falling apart in your hands. And they, they used to do that? Extra, yeah. extra strong material in this one. They were just like, with like suck extra it. glue. And they're yeah. like, alright. There you go, you got top packs now. They're one manufacturer, they're always changing either configurations or designs, they're always changing it up, which I kind of like. Pack material, all that. Yeah, you can open that. Uh, Ville Hinola. Apologies in advance for my pronunciation. There's Teddy Bluger to $9.99 for the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's going out to Matthew A. Yeah, no veteran comment ship, but pretty soon we're going to have our veteran boxes on the website available for people to purchase at home. Wow. I think we're going to do them by team. So, well, and then, of course, 100% of the money will be donated to charity 
Who's sorting that? Um, <laughs> well, it's a funny story. Oh, I got the limited. Um, yeah, you know, everyone's hitting me up. I got the Tom Wilson. There you go. Thank you, uh, BG. There's uh, Jake DeBrusque, Sign of the Times. It's kind of got it like a 2000s type of feel. That's from 1819 SB Authentic Hockey, so that's, uh, must be an update card. Upper Deck sometimes does that. That's Boston, Eric K. Awesome Matthews Limited. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, we're talking about charity box. Oh yeah, my, my cousin, team. my cousins in their teens. It's a good summer job. Yeah. yeah. Well, they don't live around here. Oh, or just the, they, they live just in the, the valley. Area. Yeah. Oh, the valley. That's valley cousins. I don't know. What so we're they're coming to pick up like you know a few monster boxes at a time. All right, there's the three ninety nine. Another Vegas goal tonight. Jimmy Schultz. They're not going to be doing it here. Uh, that's Vegas. That's Wade. I guess it gets a. Uh, Considered an internship or whatever for their school. What? Really? <laughs> what? We're not legit business, Joe? No. Uh, there's mean... Julian Gauthier to nine ninety nine. Does that count for teenagers? <laughs> what do you mean? We're a business and we're hiring the person for the summer. Hmm. I thought there was like just different requirements. I'm gonna make them sore. I'm not gonna just give it to them, you know. They'll they'll like it though, you know. Uh, Josh has the Hurricanes. Do they know sports? Yeah. I was told they're very excited, so that's cool. Did they watch the stream? I don't think so. Maybe. There's Jack Eichel. I think they follow on Instagram. There's the 199, Gunsel and Murray. Future Icons. Sure there'll be some money involved. I have to maybe uh on the back end Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nick Kamano stars young guns as well. But no, and it's for a good cause. We'll finally get these veteran based commons out of this shop for a charity. Yeah. We could use that extra space back there. Yeah. One total. That's one of the worst I've ever seen on a fast morning. They picked her. That's why. I don't know why they picked her. Well, he didn't do any better either. The other Dude, should we audition in the, online? In the tan jacket. Yeah. I don't know. Would we freeze up? He actually had to be related. I think so. Yeah. By blood or marriage, I think. Damn. We're all jaspies. <laughs> And the Jasper family. We got the Gardner family and the Jasper family. <laughs> See, far as we come up and be like, so how are you? How are you guys related? <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking at this family here. It's a good-looking family. I'm looking at this family. I, I got some questions. Timo Meyer Auto for the Sharks. That's from 1819 SP. That is Michael T. Were, were you were you here helping? Whoa! Me? What is this? Young guns oh, yeah, acetate. They, they That's, cool. acetate Those are That's nice. nice. Victor Olofsson. Buffalo. Nice. 
Michael K with the Sabres. Was I here for what? The time when the first person in Fast Money got 141 points, and then the so. second person got the first question 27 points, goose egged the next four. No, I wasn't here. Of the five, That's, and they lost. What a choke. <laughs> I wouldn't talk, I would cut that person off to family. <laughs> it was, it was so, I felt so bad for the guy. Because, like, the first person crushed it. Right. Whoa. And I feel like the questions... Sign of the Times, know. Shane Corson. The 90s. I feel like the first person obviously got a lot of number one answers, which makes it tough for the second person. I get that. Right. But, Wade Preston with the Canadians. But it's not... I didn't. I don't think of the questions being difficult, you know? I, I think, like, he should have been able to get some number two or number three answers, get them over the hump... Get 60 points, right. get 200, go home with 20 grand. Beat. Yeah, you just got to play it safe. But That's just bad strategy. Four or five questions, Nick. Goose eggs. It was... Woo. There's the 999 John Marino. I mean, if you put up points, fine, I guess. But Matthew four a with the goose penguins. eggs in a row. I like how... Uh, I think it's attract... Something to do with uh, attractiveness. And personality is dead last. First is money, and second is smoking hot bod. <coughs> Trennan Young Guns. Name something about a woman that you wouldn't care if she has a butter face. Is that the question? Yeah. <laughs> Family Feud going a little risque in 2020. Popularity. Like she's famous, I guess? Yeah. Well, the number one answer is smoking hot bod. The second answer is she's loaded, meaning money. Dead last is personality. There is uh, Adrian Kempe, nice, number to 99. Sign of the Times rookies. A nice one for the Kings. Sean. Butterface, but has nice eyes? That's stupid. That's a uh, 1718 SP. That's triple X. Get out of here. This family's dumb. Let's go, Brooks family. I, I can't think of anything else. Maybe we would be good at fam family. Steve, we're going to say she is good in bed. There you go. She's good in bed. There you go, Selena. There's a uh, Rasmus Sandin. Number two, Wait, uh, look, at the quest. look at the answer. Number to 999. PhD in Dom? <laughs> this show should be TVMA, not TV14. Nice, thank you guys. Leafs on that one. Michael K. I think it's Nick at night. PhD and <laughs> When's this show on? I think it's like so whoever it's wrote like, that was like high as a kite. Yeah, they were just like <laughs> <laughs> that would be the answer. Uh, another Maple Leaf auto, Ilya Mikiev, number to nine ninety nine. Future watch auto for the Maple Leafs. Of course Michael K with that one. Remember recap at the end of the break? All the should be 32 autographs in total. Maybe a little extra, extra ones. I know we got a Vegas hot box and then now that Leafs hot box. Need to spread out the love a little bit. To 199, Capo Caco, Adam Fox. 
future icons. Mega with the Rangers. Kale Clog, Kings, Young Guns. It's the same thing. Yeah, they, but they won the previous one. They had to win Fast Money in advance. No, they don't. Fast Money just gives you the extra twenty thousand dollars. Bonus. Yeah. But otherwise, you just only win like five dollars a coin or something like that. But fa yeah, Fast Money is really the big one. That's the key. And then I think if you win five days in a row, you and get you win Fast Money. Or whatever. Yeah, you, no, well, you get that car. Oh yeah, that's right. I can do prices right. I'm gonna go on that soon. I just don't know. I gotta. You gotta be crazy to get Pip. Meredith's husband is works on prices right. Can you get us on prices right? Uh no. Oh okay. He's like the sound director or something like that. Joe Kim Blickfield Sharks. So he has nothing to do with the selection. Damn. But he says it's just like yeah, you have to be insane. Uh, having a good, big crew there helps. I was thinking if I Maybe put like with the same t if I made a custom shirt with like Drew Carey and a baseball card, something like oh uh, yeah yeah like yeah, that. yeah something like yeah. that yeah it has to be like a gimmick that yeah and then we have to be really loud so we just have to get a bunch of people I think we could get on there I'll bet I'll bet I'll bet we can get a crew of people together and just go bananas in the stands. ooh this one's uh, inscribed Emil Bemstrom. I think the ones... The first 50, I think. Yeah, yeah, the first 50, the ones uh, less than 50, kind of has a weird autograph. It looks like the stock market or something, where it's like up, down, up, down, and then shoots up. Um, Blue Jackets, Columbus, Michael K. Tobias, uh, Tobias Bjornfoot to 9.99 for the Kings. Another hit. Sean. David Ayers, Hurricanes. I want to see one. Connor McDavid Spectrum. Just both sides just do so terribly before the first commercial break. Yes, but Steve Bacchus. Harvey goes, we've got a bad one here, folks. <laughs> but, hey, we've stick got around. An ugly, it can we've only got get, an ugly yeah. one here, yeah. Stick around, it can only get better. You know Teddy won a game show? Yeah, when he was a kid. You know, Have you seen it? Show? No, I haven't. Dude, the tape is amazing. Apparently, yeah, apparently it's on... And then he said the girls on, or the one girl on it cried. I was like, that's, in, in the green you could room. tell that she was crying, like, that she cried after. She was upset. It was like a, something where you do half, um, half quiz and half physical challenge, right? Correct, yeah. Correct. And he just dominated the physical challenges. This is, uh, the 1965... 1981 World Series, Dodgers, Yankees. Oh, wow. I don't know. It's not good enough quality. I've seen maybe like five innings of this 81 Series. But Tommy Lasorda always said that they lost to the Yankees in 77 or 78. His classic story is like, I prayed to God and I said, please God, give me another chance at the Yankees so I could beat him. And then 81 it happened. And God delivered him in the World Series. Uh, this is SP Authentic Full Case Break uh, 6, John. John McCall. Uh, Daniel Yurta Yakin to 9 dollars What is this? Wonder Woman. Oh, Wonder Woman. One of the few DC movies that are decent. Outside of Batman? Well, that's not really DC in my mind. <laughs> the. Ooh, we got another inscription. Uh. Yakum Blickfield to nine ninety nine. The uh, well, the bat, the Ben Affleck Batman was was an ant. Um, the uh, Justice League or whatever. Yeah, that's not very good. You'd rather everyone would rather have Avengers than Justice League. San Jose Sharks is Michael. I'm 
until DC becomes desperate and they're like, can we please do Avengers vs. Justice League? Yeah. There's Jonathan Davidson to 999. They're coming out with the second cut of the same Justice League movie, though, that came out. <laughs> so Why apparently, I think it's called the Snyder Cut. So this, Zack Snyder? Yeah, he was doing the movie. And then, like, midway through filming, or three quarters of the way through, his daughter died. So he, oh, really? he left filming. Wow. And then, um, and then I guess um, Warner Brothers and the second director just changed the whole script and everything. So now, Whoa. all the fans, like, you know, since it was a box office bomb and stuff in 2017, a few oh, years later, like, fans created a petition, and I guess it got enough buzz that Warner Brothers said, okay, we'll release the Snyder Cut. So it's coming out, like, later this year. Interesting. So I don't know, maybe it'll be better than the, uh... That's what happens when, like, the studios get a hold of it, and they're like, well, we test marketed every single yeah. thing. They made the second director, like, cut it. Yeah, cut we, the movie. We, gotta, we gotta put product placements in every single thing, and... You know, script and all that. Is this Brie Larson? Uh, Gal Gadot. Gal, Gal Gadot. Gal, Gal Gadot. Yeah. Um, Brie Larson is Captain Marvel. She's Marvel. Nick Kamano, Young Guns. I like Gal Gadot a lot. Yeah, she's pretty easy on the eyes. Where did she come from? I feel like Julian she... Julian Gauthier, I Spectre feel like FX. she was just like, boom, all of a sudden she's on SNL. Pierre-Luc Dubois. Like, was, did I miss her in some like indie flick or something like that? She's in that movie with Zach Galifianakis and uh, the redhead from Wedding Crashers. Sasha Baron Cohen's wife? Yeah. She's in that? No. It was like a comedy movie. Why am I blanking on her name? She always gets confused for Amy Adams. I don't think she was on SNL, though. Like, as a host? Yeah, she was on as a host. Oh, I thought you meant, like, as a cast member. No, Gal... She's a host, right? Was well, she was in Batman vs Superman first, and then they had the Wonder Woman. She's she in. Must have... She's in Fast and the Furious. Oh, okay. Um, okay. All uh, those movies. Okay, there you go. So that's where she made her big thing. Yeah. I, I what, just the like, movie I, I'm thinking of is called Keeping Up with the Joneses. I haven't watched a lot of uh, Fast and Furious, so I, I guess I kind of. Missed it received that. generally negative reviews and considered a box office bomb. I thought it was okay. It's with John Hamm, um, Gal Gadot. Isla Fisher. Isla Fisher, that's right. That's, yeah. right. that's her name. Yeah. Patton Oswalt and Zach Galifianakis. I thought it was kind of funny. Yeah, here's the uh, here's the schedule. I think that's what John is talking about. Yeah, we've been trying to keep the schedule up to date. So here it is. I think you just hit the button. Yeah. Oh, the, Somewhat up The drop yeah, button. They just look at the time. I've never sold on my slabs, EJC. Do you know anybody who's EJC is asking Joe? Um, you guys ever hear of my slabs? My slabs? Yeah, no. I've never heard of that. Is that a new selling site? JC Bodine. A lot of those kind of websites are popping up. I s I've noticed. I know there's another one like called. Um, it's like a alternative to eBay. I forget what it's called. P.S. Why doesn't Captain Marvel just appear and just destroy, like, just crush everything? We got something crazy coming up. Doesn't what is like this? A, Alex DeBrincat, Sound of the, Sound of the Times. That's a few years old, right? Yeah. Oh, no. 1920. I thought it was a rookie Alex DeBrincat. Uh, that is going out to the Blackhawks and Patrick. I've never seen the Captain Marvel movie. Um, well, no, I mean, I, I just saw her in Avengers, and then she was just like, it just took her like five seconds to beat Thanos. To 9.99, Jimmy Schultz. And I was like, where were you before? Vegas. I know she showed up really late to the party. But then, but then she was, but then she was just like, like because she's so Wait. powerful, and she's just like having to save millions of worlds, and Earth was just like number. Well, 100. she wasn't the sole reason that Thanos was defeated. No, but she helped. She, the coup de grace. She put the final blow was, yeah. Um, I'm not thinking of Com C. I'm thinking of it's a website that sells a bu whole bunch of stuff, and I've noticed people are selling a lot of cards. Mercara. Mercari? Yeah, Mercari. There you go. There Thank you. M e r c a r i. Mercari. 
It's a Japanese e-commerce site, which I guess is starting to become really big with cards. I've seen a lot cards. of commercials in the last year or so, but yeah. cards? People are selling cards on there? Yeah, people are selling a lot of cards on there, so I don't know. Like I said, there's so many ways to sell cards now. Adam Brooks, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Groups, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, here's an old school. Com. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mike Lutt, Sign of the Times, which is selling to us. St. Louis Blues. Chad. Yeah, Starstock. Yeah, I've seen that, right? Yeah, I've never really looked at, you know, what's selling on the Mercari. I just know people list cards on there. I don't know if it's a buy it now system. There's Riley Stillman to $9.99 for the Florida Panthers going out to Paul Harris. So what's the Wonder Woman backstory? They're like these Amazonian powerful. Yeah, it's like all women in this yeah in this in their tribe and like. But how does she get to the United States? Well, that's what oh, this, this is that's about. What the whole okay. thing is about. Watch this. Oliver Bjorkstad, Blue Jackets, Patrick, and that's like her mom right here, gotcha. and like, you know, she's got to break out of her kind of clan that, you know, I see. they don't, it's like that one island, um, antique, not, uh, the one that we were talking about off the coast of India, it's like they don't have oh, any right, contact yeah, 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 yeah. with anybody. Right. Otherwise, that tribe will just kill you. Yeah. Kachuk and Shabbat. Shabbat. Just like 3,000 women just attack. Be terrifying. All like... 3,000 anything attacking you. Aim to, like, train to kill. But they're somehow an advanced culture as well? Yes. Like they have all this crazy technology? Yeah. They have like crazy ass medicine, it's like like Atlantis or something. Right? Yeah. I think they have like many slaves. I forget. I don't know. It's crazy kind of. <laughs> Those comics that originated in the fifties. So yeah, it's like kind of kind of kind of wacky. I definitely, I'm definitely more of a Marvel guy. Whoa. Tobias Bjornfoot, 38 to 50, three color patch auto. I like the patch autos in this. Future watch. That's going out to the LA Kings and Sean. Yeah, Marvel has definitely made a huge step in the cinema universe. If we're talking just characters. If you just take the yeah, movies, I'm talking just comic book characters. If you like, take, like, oh, you're talking about so like I not mean, just the quality like, of the movies. There's no, Ryan, uh, Ryan Poling. I know who this later, but I think I know who this is. I forget. Blue Jackets. It is. Come on. No Hurricanes. Oh, Ryan Poling Hurricanes. Josh. I think maybe Pierre Luc Dubois. Sorry, no Canadians. Sorry. Canadians. Canadians. What did I say? Hurricanes. You said Hurricanes. Canadians. Am I thinking of Pierre Luc Dubois? I just want to spell Montreal with an A N S. You know? Canadians instead of Ians? Yeah. It's Ians. I always, I always like think it, and then I do the right way. No, if we're talking about just uh, films aside, I think DC could uh, give Marvel a big fight. Adam Brooks, there. You got Superman, you got Wonder Woman, The Flash. Um, oh, they never get those. Then movie wise, they never get those characters right. Yeah. yeah. There's, I mean, how much? There's more depth to like Marvel characters though. Superman's just like. Well, that's because of the. Su Superman's yeah. just like, oh, I come from a different planet, and, and here I am. And well, the yellow sun gives me power. DC would, you'd have to make the whole case on Batman. He's like right. the that's LeBron the, James the of your team. Yeah, exactly. It's like 2009 LeBron James. The second that's, best that's player is like Zedrunas Ogalski. DC has just ridden on the cape of Batman for like since the 1950s. Superman is pretty lame. He's pretty generic. He's pretty generic. 
He's just if, like, oh yeah, uh, you're, I fight. You're putting Bye. your your dollars straight on Batman. He has the best origin story. Best. He's got a butler, who's awesome. Right, who's maybe part of MI6 back in World And Iron II. Man is kind of, I feel like, I don't know which came first, but Iron Man's a little copy of, of Iron Batman. Man's a little, Iron Man must be Marvel's answer to Batman. Though. Because it's the same origin story, you yeah. know? He's got, like, the rich company. And right, whatever. right, right. I feel like Batman came first. Joey Dackard. But you're right, though. Like, like DC has just been riding on... Straight on... Uh, on the cape of Batman for, yeah. for forever. And everyone else is just like J.R. Smith. It's just like, you know... Um, who's like that Kyle, guy? Uh, Kyle Corbis. LeBron is Batman. And it's like, you know, Larry Hughes, Delonte West. <laughs> right, right. And then everyone else just Delonte West. Shannon Brown. Like, I mean, maybe, maybe like Superman is like you. Maybe you get Kyrie in there as Superman. Eh, but, no. But but LeBron is definitely Batman. It's like uh, you know Daniel Gibson. Oh. You know Anderson Barajow. Anderson Barajow is the Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah, remember Seth Rogen was the Green Lantern. What that was, that was like one of the worst movies of all time, I think. Wasn't Ryan Reynolds like a Green Lantern? Yeah, he was in the. Like, even Seth Ryan Rogen Reynolds couldn't it. save the Green Lantern. Uh, uh, Joker's cool. That's a great villain. That's probably but, the but best. in the Batman universe. That's what I'm saying. Batman carries him. They should just, they should just drop Aquaman him. is eh. Aquaman's terrible. Yeah, he's eh. Green Arrow, lame. Ugh. I don't know what a Dick Grayson is. Whoever Dick Grayson oh, is. Oh, that's, uh, Robin. That's the real name of Robin. Oh. He's kind of lame. Yeah, even the Robin storyline's not that great. Like, they try to give him a sidekick. Oh, Seth Rogen's a Green Hornet. What did you oh, say? Green Lantern. Oh, okay. Which I think is Ryan Reynolds. Green Hornet was bad, too. But Green I think Hornet Green Hornet was, was really an old, bad. Uh, was an old, like, 1930s is that a comic? Radio, radio drama. No, I think Green Hornet maybe was a comic, but then was, like, an old That's radio what I'm drama. thinking of. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds has made fun of himself being that Green Lantern. Green Lantern. I'm glad he ended up being dead cool. Oh, Deadpool is uh is Marvel though, right? Yeah. Because everyone was laughing about how like is Disney Plus ever gonna have Deadpool on it <laughs> because it's so family oriented, but they still have all the Mar Marvel movies. That's right. That's right. Flash is cool. Why is Captain Kirk in this movie? Is that Christopher Pine? Yeah. He's like the soldier that has to come get her. Like to, he's like recruiting her. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I forget. Joel Person to nine ninety nine. Plastic Man. Who's that? Plastic Man. <laughs> Lame Man. Oh, Bane. That's cool, but that's Batman. But that's little Batman, yeah. Yeah, it's... We're talking, like, lead characters. Marvel versus DC. DC only Arthur has... says Catwoman. That's in the Batman universe. That's also universe. related to Batman. I guess basically they have Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman. That's it. It's like the D-Wade, uh, you know, D-Wade, LeBron, Bosch. But that's it, yeah. No. Joe, they got Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman fine. They rebooted Wonder Woman pretty well, I think. But the Flash just runs fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now look at Marvel characters and see. It's like... Just bangers like after murder, bangers. Murder's yeah. row. Spider-Man, Iron Man, Deadpool, Captain America, Hulk, Hulk. Black Widow. Black Widow's kind of lame. And then Thor. Wolverine. X-Men. All the X-Men. Wolverine. Wolverine. Black Panther. Black Panther's Cable. amazing. Yeah. You got all of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm. They got Wonder Man. I don't know what that is. Nick Fury's cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
Human I mean, Torch. They, I mean, they, they, look, listen, they have some clunkers that's, too. That's but in a, They have some clunkers as well, but it's this? just like, when you're talking like... Jennifer Lawrence played this character? Mystique, yeah, in Whoa. X-Men. It's a little X-rated there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, is it in the X-Men? Yeah, it's like from the, it's like when they when they play it's like X Men First Class I think so they do that when they're kids so she plays like the younger version. Um, Rebecca Romaine Stamos I think plays the grown up. Uh, grown up Mystique. Yeah. Yeah, Punisher. Um, Punisher's Marvel too, right? Yeah. Yeah. See. Redemption, Martin. Fehervery. Sorry. Martine, I'm guessing. That's going out to... The Capitals. He's playing for the Hershey Bears right now. You think, you think people sell, sell cards on DealDash.com? No. <laughs> That's such a scam. How do they make money? They're just like... They don't. Nothing ever sells for that. That's why. Oh, okay. So when they say iPad sold for it's $5. Like the, it's like the extended bidding. You bid a penny, and it's just keep continuous. Every time someone bids a penny, it goes up another minute or something. Oh, so the okay. auctions take freaking 100 hours to end. And by that time, you're done. You're just like, do I really want to Is Frank Thomas like $50 on an iPad? Frank Thomas could be a okay. say F it. After Frank Thomas takes Nugenics, he's a superhero. All right, we got a Future Watch Auto Patch, number 100, Kirby Doc. That's going out to, believe, the Blackhawks. Mike Tower says DC has better villains. Definitely. Although Thanos, after the last few movies, pretty cool. But I don't know. I didn't like the Thanos storyline, though. I like Thanos. I was just, it was just like, oh, he just has a glove, puts in five stones, and then he just eliminates people? That's so dope. Is it? Well, I mean, it's not his glove. I feel like I feel like there was I feel like there could have been more story in like the he went in the, that's not his stones. like thing he could kill people either way yeah the, I guess I just didn't he was going out it's like a he's like a scavenger hunter he yeah, went out yeah, and yeah. Found, found those uh you know I guess the, the 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 search part of the story just didn't do it for me yeah or I think it should have been extended because I didn't feel like the weight of like his like how much it took for him to do this. Yeah, well, you had to watch all of the Marvel movies before Avengers, even. Oh, boy, I don't have time for that. Because I think he's featured in a few of those, like, also. I think I, a, one of the I, th- I did go through Captain America. The have you seen the Thor movie? No. Connor Timmons? I think he's in there. Oh, okay, so I have Jakob to watch Trenin. those Thor movies. Yeah, I think they're on... I think they are. They're on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Nice, thank you, Adam. <laughs> I didn't even see Aquaman with uh with the guy from Game of Thrones. Number to 249, Cal Maker. Nice. Future watch. Insert. Um, Curry says, Nick, I think you're going to wake up tomorrow and regret what you're saying about Superman. You're stressed and you're saying things you don't mean. <laughs> <laughs> Superman is an American icon. Don't get me wrong. But he's just kind of like vanilla ice cream, I feel like. He's just kind of kind of basic. I like I like darker characters like Batman a little bit better. I like, yeah. I don't even know Superman's origin story. Like, didn't he... And he's got that kryptonite issue. That's a problem. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Mark Stone. Wrote all over it. Crazy inscription. Thir- uh, hand number 31 of 49. April 14, 2019, his first career hat trick. Golden Knights killed this break. That's going out to Wade Preston. DC has better TV than Marvel. Yeah, I've only watched a few of the DC uh, shows. I heard Gotham's really good. Is that with uh, January Jones? No. Um, mm, Jessica Jones. Did. What's that? 
That's a, a that's its own one, I think. Jessica Jones. Jessica Nicholas Haig to nine ninety nine. Jessica Jones is the Scarlet Witch, isn't she? No, maybe not. Maybe she's not. Is Jessica Jones the name of a character or name of an actress? January Jones is the name of an actress. Jessica is. Jones is the name of the T V show. TV show. She teammates with like Nick Fury. Yeah, something? she's in Breaking Bad. Oh. When Walter White kills her. Whoa. Luke Cage is a good uh, TV show. I've seen that. Oh yeah, she's in that Luke Cage world. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like this, a straight up Netflix show. What's wrong with that? I don't know, but isn't it, isn't she a Marvel character? No. Yeah, Marvel. So eventually, they're just gonna take it away from Netflix, right? I think it got canceled. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know who the next villain in Marvel will be. They're starting up, you know, a new whole chapter of those. Next phase, I think they call it. Phase three or something. And we have a Mike Gartner. Capitals. Old school. 1980s right there. It's a cool set. That's going out to Ryan Harold. Anthony Manta. All right, two more boxes. Then uh, might go through some orders, and then we'll do what you gonna call it, ice. And then it looks like Prism Baseball sold out. We'll do Prism Baseball. That'll be probably around ten thirty, um, and then we'll try to sell out that Noir Basketball. I'm not sure what got pulled in the first half of the Noir. I think I would have seen a Zion picture come through the phone. Though. There's uh, Dominic Kubalik to nine ninety nine. Anyone watch the new Twilight Zone with um, Jordan, Peele? Jordan Peele? I think it's on CBS Access. CBS All Access. Uh, Breeze Boys for the 9.99. Breeze Bois for the Vancouver Canucks. Sean. I think my favorite is probably Spider Man. Pokemon got number one. Batman number two. It's you and me. They say it's my destiny. I really like the Tom Holland Spider Man movies as of recently. Tobey Maguire, I think, were solid. And I even think the Andrew Garfield Spider Man movies, despite bad reviews and box office with Emma Stone, I think those were pretty good too. I didn't didn't hate those. Is Tommy McGuire a really good poker player? Yeah, I think he. Uh, I think there's like stories about that. Yeah. Top fifteen reasons why Tommy McGuire doesn't market. get movies in Hollywood anymore. Number one, he uh, pissed off a top producer on a poker match. Number one, yeah, he's a big a hole in card games. <laughs> Number two, he was featured in Molly's Game. Where people said he was a big a-hole at card games. Asa Brake says he should try out for American Idol. Wait, with Pokemon songs? I missed a base with an auto on it. What? This better not be a troll. Too, 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 too busy looking at a... Uh, Gal Gadot? January Jones. January, oh, Gal Gadot, oh, yeah, she's back on TV now. Hi, Gal. She French? She must be French. Mm -mm. She's um, I think Israel. Oh, she's from Israel. Oh, want to say? No, I don't know. She's Israeli. Maybe I don't know. 
could be this right. Yeah, I don't see any auto. You mind looking through that last stack? You can send me a screenshot if you replay it. I don't think I would have missed an auto. Is this the most recent stack? That's um, the inserts. It would have been the veteran base. Oh, so this, this row right here? Yeah. Yeah, because we had our two autos in that box. So I don't think, I don't think there was. But yeah, if you do see on the video, you could shoot me over a screenshot. Tyson Berry, Maple Leaf, sign of the times, going out to Michael K. Galactus is the next Marvel villain for next phase. I don't know who Galactus is. Isn't that a electro pop group? That no, that's Galanti. That's Galantis. <laughs> oh yeah, Galantis. Yeah. Whoa, he's kind of purplish. That's kind of cool. What does he do? I don't know. He's a fictional character. I know that. He's a cosmic entity who originally consumed planets to sustain his life force and serves a dude? functional role in the upkeep of the primary Marvel continuity. Didn't continuity. Didn't, didn't Thanos like eat planets too? I feel like that's too. He just eats planets? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm going to eat planets. Jake Wallman to 999. How are they going to defeat that? He's going to bite off just North Captain America? Marvel just shows up in the last 15 minutes and then just blasts right through him. And then she's like, got him. He's uh, in 2009. Wow, he's going to be pissed about this. Galactus is going to be pissed. In 2009. Galactus ranked fifth on IGN's top 100 list of uh, comic book villains. Man, he's gonna be a revenge game like Michael Jordan. He's gonna take that personally. <laughs> he's gonna. That's just how Galactus is, you know. I don't see any missing auto. I don't think there was. Uh, Mitchell Stevens, Lightning, Young Guns. I think everyone would have seen it. There's a Cole Bardo, Cole Bardro, Bardro, and I ninety nine. Barrett Hayden. So we'll do a hit recap right now, and then the giveaway. So here is the autograph and stuff. Pretty much all autographs here. Go through it kind of quickly. Mike Gartner. This was a cool one. Uh, hand number to 49. Mark Stone. I know you're in training. Cal Maker. Working on that left hand. That's the only thing. Mike. Be on my foot to 50. And I have to learn how to jump off the right foot when I, the correct foot when I. There's an inscribed. Go for layups. Blickfeld. And work on my jump shot. And work on not looking at the ball when I'm dribbling down the court. Oh, that was one of them. That's like, yeah, you got to learn that. <laughs> kind of an important thing. Yeah. Or else they'll just steal it from you every yeah. time. Jonathan March Hustle to 50 patch auto. But once and I get all of those here's the first hit. Jack Hughes, Gold Ink. Cool. Nice. Nice case. All right, let's head, head to the randomizer. Once you get the hoop, what? I was going to say, I just need to relearn all of my 10-year-old hoop skills. Yeah. <laughs> Fundamentals. Yeah, when, the stuff that kids learn. I'm going to try random.org out. When's the last time I was down? I don't know. We're going to try it out, though. I'm going to I'm gonna be bold, a little risky bold. today. All right, so let's see who let's see who took three teams. Where do you see how long it's been down? 
Oh, I, did I take that page down? Oh, I guess I did. There's the schedule right now. We got ice hockey coming up next. Um, down report or something? I think I had it on down report or down detector. Did I look up down detector? Oh, yeah. Is it down right now? Last down four hours ago? So oh, maybe it's safe. Okay. Um, so in order to get into this promo for a free box, you have to buy three teams. You get six teams. I don't think anyone did. You get two entries. But let's see who got three. Michael Ang was the first one. Michael K was the second one. Ryan Harold was the third one. Sean M was the fourth. And Wade was the fifth. One in five shot at a nice $100 plus box here. Let's randomize the dice. Six times. Name on top gets the box. One, two, three, four. Good luck, everyone. Five, and then six and final time. Name on top. Michael Lang, there you go. Nice. Congrats. After six times, you are the winner of the box. We'll get that out to you. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. That was uh, SP Authentic. Pick your team six.